right, welcome back. Fasa C. Saraf Adina Tonda is the national president of Amban, and he joins me now to look at developing issues in the nation's financial inclusion draft. Many thanks for joining me, uh, Mr. Tonda. Yeah, thank you for having me. All yeah. right. Good day. Yeah. yeah. The last time we had a discussion, or the last yeah. time um, I heard from Amban, really, was uh, when uh, the NFIC was introduced in Nasarawa State uh, yeah. in March the 1st. Mm. So far, can you tell me um, how far that um, policy has been and um, what are the latest updates? Mm. Thank you so much for, for checking on that, uh, on that um, development. I think um, uh, neighborhood financial inclusion introduced by Amban and uh, officially flagged off by the governor of Nasarawa State uh, has been very, very successful uh, so far. Uh, it has created the needed awareness, which is the first you know, objective. And um, a lot of key, I mean, st I mean stakeholders, they have actually uh, uh, key into the to the idea because it's meant to be um, stakeholder driven. Um, part of it is that the um, Office of the President um, on financial inclusion has been able to partner uh, with this and um, has been able to support us, you know, to to get into the last mile. And also uh, service providers too, they uh, have been able to also. Uh, key into this. Uh, we have been able to meet with the DG of uh, National Identity Management Commission mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we are discussing on how they can also push out most of these critical services. Mm -hmm. And um, we all saw it in the news that mm -hmm. uh, immediately they too they are pushing out okay. uh, those services that are difficult to reach. Mm. Those services like uh, change of name, change of yes. date of birth, uh, uh, so they, 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 you know, hurriedly pu push it out mm. uh, because uh, of, of this uh, advocate, you know. Okay. So, and um, I think um, all the providers too, mm. they are also reaching out to us. And um, as of today, we have been able to uh, activate um, about 10 states. 10 states? Yeah, as okay, of today. That's good. And um, our people, the masses of our people, mm. are finding it easy mm. uh, to access most of those um, um, uh, services. Right. Uh, but, and you will also observe that uh, most of the bank banking halls yes. that were s uh, actually supposed to be jam packed, they are relieved of those crowds uh, mm. based on our intervention. All right. So yeah. let me ask uh, so yeah. far, because in your, mm. in, uh, in your uh, opening salvo that you talked about yeah. um, how NF, uh, I mean, NIMC and, yeah. of course, uh, other mm. ag agencies are yeah. actually buying into that. Yeah. So would you say uh, the N NIMC, yeah. uh, you know, which handles um, NINs and all of that, uh, would you say the relationship with Amban has mm. been smooth in terms of uh, uh, maybe giving you access to mm actually uh, you know enroll nins of course um it's been smooth and um uh, i think um for the uh, dg uh you know to also you know mobilize and uh, give us the audience to discuss about this uh it shows some level of commitment uh to solving you know identity challenge in nigeria and i think um uh, the process may be slow for them to uh, finally release most of these uh, okay. services, but I think um, they show some level of commitment. So are it. you saying that mm. in no distant time mm. we would see um, um, Amban agents, uh, mm. you know, enrolling NINs? Um, as of today, Amban agents are enrolling so NINs. So far they are? Uh, they are. Uh, okay. I think uh, this uh, part of the service that we are trying to get out mm. uh, across to the last mile uh, are services like uh, modification, okay change of name, change of date of mm. birth, because we know that now that um, it's a matter of policy, mm. that uh, NIN and BVN should be linked to, uh, to accounts, account. yes. you know, especially account from tier two mm. uh, to tier three. Uh, and uh, for you to be able to map uh, the two identities together, yes. their data sets have to be the same. Mm. What do I mean by that is that the phone number you use in BVM will be the same that you use in NIN. Yes. Yeah, so your, your, your name mm. should be arranged the way it's arranged in BVN and NIN. Okay. So, and um, we know that um, uh, BVN is a uh, very old identity, mm. you know, and in which uh, most of the people, maybe by then, um, somebody uh, like uh, uh, ladies, they are now women. Okay, they so are yeah. married now. Name they have changes. name change. So they need to, to update to it. So, and they cannot be looking for NIMC offices around the mm. country. So they ca the, the easiest place to access is actually 
uh, agent location. All right. uh, yeah, so and I think that's one of the reasons why we rolled out neighborhood financial inclusion yeah, center okay. so that they can. And also, we also got um, a very uh, uh, support, high level of support from uh, telecommunication companies. Mm, so at that center today, mm. you can actually uh, welcome back your SIM. You can also swap. You can also link your your SIM card to your oh, N9. Wow. You know all those, those services. Location, those yes, services. yes. We, we, we easily we, we are able to get that um, services yeah. out from telcos. Look, but right yeah. now it's ten state. Now mm. I would be mm. so so mm. happy if mm. I it were to be able to get um, so much better all the states. So yeah, sure yeah, looking. yeah. The challenge why the movement is slow is because of uh, the resources. Okay. Uh, it involves some, uh, you know, your, some expenses. Uh, okay. You need to uh, provide um, mm. the gadget by yourself. You have to provide the, the uh, devices to do the NIN, to do the BVN by yourself. Mm. Though we have written to uh, NIPS, Nigeria Interbank Settlement Scheme, to also make, I mean, provide some of these devices for agents mm. to be able to reach the last mile. We are also expecting their feedback too. Okay as regard that. Okay, so uh, uh, have there been any challenge or challenges um, you've encountered? We talked about correlation um, between, um, you know, these um, parameters, this data, you know, for NIN and BVN. What are some of the challenges that you've um, encountered um, mm. at the NFICs and um, how have you been able to tackle them? Mm. Yeah, most of the challenges um, are basically the the uh, level of um, the, the, the kind of the people we are dealing with at the last mile, mm. at the informal sectors, okay. um, most of them may not even remember their NIN. They may not remember their BVN. Most of them don't even know the date of birth using their BVN. Oh, you, wow. know, uh, you know, we are dealing with um, uh, informal sectors where most things are estimated. Uh, our our grandmothers, our fathers outside there. When you uh, during the BVN uh, enumeration, then when you ask them their age, uh, it's a matter of I was born before the <laughs> civil war. <laughs> civil war. <laughs> so so it is now left to you to estimate, and and with that they don't have the accurate date. Hmm. Uh, so we need to do what we call verification okay. using our platform to check. Which date so was it? goes ahead to do the KYC and the everything. The KYC and everything. Oh, wow. Today. You know, That's so a whole lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a okay. lot of work, yeah. Okay, so let's still talk um, for mm. that concerning um, agency mm. operations and all that. I know you are, mm. Amban is set to launch um, something very soon. Yeah. Uh, I need to understand because, mm. uh, okay, before we even get into that, um, yeah. NFICs we're still talking about, how do I really know uh, what agent is um, registered, you know, mm. with Amban? So mm. I just don't just go to one run of the mill, mm. uh, POS operator, and then just ask for such um, mm. services. Okay. Um, part of what we have introduced recently is uh, identity. Uh, so you can look out for the Amban logo um, in agent location. Mm. And uh, most importantly, most Amban locations are well structured. They are of standard, uh, you know, that can carry out uh, this um, um, exercise because uh, there are requirements for you to be able to undo most of these sensitive services. Yeah. So, um, and uh, for the neighbor financial inclusion, they are easier to get, to locate, okay. because uh, we actually cite them at um, open spaces, Oh, yeah. um, public schools, like markets. markets. Okay. So uh, you will see our banners there. Mm. So they are, they, are, they are easily located. Okay. You can cite them. You said 10 states. Uh, mm. So yeah. if we just have to just go statistically, yeah. uh, 10 states, how mm. many centers so far in the 10 states? Okay. Um, uh, as of today, we have, um, we have covered about 50% of uh, each, each uh, local okay. government in okay. particular okay. states. Yeah, okay. as of today. Oh, so um, right. for Lagos, Alimosho, uh, Ikeja, uh, uh, Songo, Songo Tedu area, okay. so um, uh, Agbado. Mm. Uh, so we have them the hinterland, yeah, yeah, right? hinterland. So, mm. so, and that is where they are actually needed. All right. Mm. Okay, let's talk about security yeah. now because that's one of the uh, issues that have been uh, that have uh, been brought to the front burner yeah. in some of um, your meetings that have attended uh, safety of. Uh, 
agents, mm -hmm. safety of um, customers, their cash, and every other thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something in the offing, agents joined tax force. Uh, and uh, from what I can see from your flyer, I don't mm -hmm. know if we can just roll that um, on, on air. Uh, POS agent compliance with CBN regulations. You talked about agent identification, agent authorization, verification, agent security. Just uh, shed more light on those. Okay, thank you so much. Um, it has been, there has been a clear on call in the industry uh, on how do we control the menace um, the, the, more, the more you expand financial inclusion, the more you relax the policy around um, our payment system, uh, the more uh, menace uh, you recorded, uh, the more uh, uh, crimes, you know, mm. that will come along with it. Um, uh, Twelve years ago, when um, Central Bank of Nigeria, you know, rolled out a financial inclusion strategy, mm. And um, uh, I put it as a target that we need to hit 80% mm -hmm. inclusion rate by year 2020. And um, all the channels were deployed. Additional POS, additional agents, um, additional ATM machines, mm -hmm. increase the number of microfinance, you know, uh, uh, digital platforms. You know, all these were necessary. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and, and to God be the glory, I think uh, we are eating the numbers. Okay. You know, we are very close to 80%, even uh, despite the fact that, you know, you know, so we're yeah. still very close to 80%. Okay. So, but when we are rolling out all that, um, uh, we may not be aware uh, that, uh, you know, the crimes we grow along with it. Mm. And um, uh, as of today, uh, there have been a lot of complaints, especially uh, on POS on POS agents across the country. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, based on statistics, the largest fraud cases uh, happen are traced to agent locations as sure. of today. And um, uh, we, that can also be confirmed by the recent uh, 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 you know, um, declaration of the Inspector General of Police mm -hmm. uh, that um, uh, they should uh, you know, stop all uh, POS in all police you know, uh, stations across the, across the country. Mm. And uh, when you look at this, you look at it that is like, uh, you know, killing a, a, an hand with a sledgehammer. Because um, when you look at the most of the police uh, facilities today, uh, uh, only agent location are the ones servicing them. Okay. So financial inclusion has been, you know, reversed, mm. you know, by that deliberate action. And uh, we will not actually blame the IG. Uh, but we, we, there is a need for a platform, and that is why we are coming up with uh, uh, a similitude of uh, PCRC, the Police Community uh, Relations you know, Committee mm -hmm. in our neighborhoods right. to ensure policing. So uh, this time around, we are coming up with the Joint Task Force uh, in our own constitution as association. Mm -hmm. We have a standing committee. Mm -hmm. We call it Anti-Money Laundry committee and okay. task force committee yeah. so and based on that uh, we are working with all the security agents in the country uh, to provide to serve as their intelligence touch points mm -hmm. uh, because we are the one that are the last mile we are the one that really have the understanding of the industry True. so we can now have a platform where we can escalate to the security agents True. to come and uh, perform their own duty mm -hmm. of, you know, uh, enforcement. Yeah. Uh, when you look at the uh, agent banking regulation uh, documents yeah. uh, from the CBN, there are a lot of regulations there True. Uh, that are not being implemented today. Uh, so we have them, we have the idea about it, uh, and we can now refer, based on this committee, this mm -hmm. joint task force, we can work with our police, our DSS, mm -hmm. and at our civil defense, to so now point those uh, regulations to them for them to intervene and implement. Okay. For example, today, when you get to our markets, you will see people hanging bags on their neck with their POS at their hands. Yeah. Call it, come and withdraw, come and withdraw. You know, a lot of them have scammed. Are they part of your agent? They are not. They are not because in line with this uh, CBM policy, agents are meant to operate in a physical location. Okay. You know? so that you will be identified with that location. But somebody that is roaming, mm. roaming agents is not part of the procedure, it's not part of the approved uh, 
channel of delivery. So how do they get their, their, it, their terminals it, it, It's because nobody is checking them. It's because nobody is checking them. So as of today, we can now use this platform of joint task force to refer to the police within that neighborhood okay. to get them in check. Mm. That we all know that this has provided a lot of job opportunities to Nigeria, yes, but you have to do it in a legitimate way. Mm. And that is why we are you know, launching a uh, joint task force to ensure that people comply with the lay down so policies. a part of it here, I can yeah. see whistleblowing. You know, yeah. one thing about whistleblowing mm. in Nigeria, most people are usually not um, so so forthcoming in you know mm. telling out telling the stories or the true picture of what things are because for for issue of security and uh, them being exposed. So have that been factored in? Oh, very well, very well. Um, part of what we we have been able to uh, uh, bottle for long. Mm. Uh, uh, those uh, red flags, uh, because fraud, 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 uh, fraud doesn't don't just happen. There, there are flags, you know. Um, for instance, um, uh, the 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 uh, this just to tell you the critical nature of uh, agents, the agent play. You have about 1.8 million agents across mm -hmm. the country in the rural of the ruralness, and um, it has a lot of. We can't leave them unregulated uh -huh. okay. and unwatched mm. uh, because they have huge security implications. Uh, I was privileged to have an experience in um, bandit prone areas, mm. uh, Beninguari in Niger State, uh, where um, uh, most of the transactions that are happening at agent locations, uh, most of those customers are actually bandits. Mm. Uh, and they are actually bandits. And the red flag is the kind of the transaction they are doing in that in that environment mm. and um, when you look at it um, uh, we get the back end we get the notifications we get the kind the amount of transactions mm. and you know the repetition of the amount of such transaction mm. and so um, uh, yeah so but there is no platform to escalate it okay uh, you know um, we look at we look at the situation where bandits will want to collect ransom mm. and um, maybe some of them major the deal in cash mm. and if you don't have cash and uh, they are forced to collect transfer mm. uh, unsuspected agent they go to unsuspected agent location they will send the account number of the agents agent mm. receive the transaction and they will not be aware that it's a, it's a ransom it's for ransom yeah. you know it will just say i want to receive certain money okay. but i don't have an account you okay. know so these agents uh will be in trouble at the end of the day when police are, are doing their you know investigation okay. a lot of a lot of incidents has terminated at agent location oh. and these agents have been in trouble for the offenses that mm. they have not you know committed so but with a joint task uh, committee mm. uh, we will be able to share Oh. most of these red flags mm. so the police can step in okay uh and we will be able to also i uh, mean uh solve the problem of bandits you know in our rural area because when you don't give access to payments mm. and uh, services uh for 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 illicit transactions True. then you are meant to, to you know to discourage uh, yeah. ransom collection so let's continue now. Let's talk about agent um, identification and, of course, um, customer privacy checks and all of that mm. uh, as we round off. Mm. Thank you so much. I, I think uh, one thing that has been missing uh, in terms of uh, regulation uh, within this space is uh, agent identity. Who are the agents? How do we even identify the agents? So um, our association, Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria, introduced the uh, identity for agents. Okay. Um, and um are you giving them cards yeah they are, it, it's it's uh, you know identity is beyond cards now okay. it's about having your nin okay. you know you know domicile mm. with a particular you know entity so we now have uh, uh, an nin verification on our portal if you are signing up to be a member today you have no choice than to mm. to, to leave your because it have to request for your okay. nin we have automated the whole processes and the beauty of it now is not just for you to carry ID card. Security agent will now be able to verify okay. the authenticity of your of your ID card okay. through yes. a QR code mm. technology. So, okay. so there is a QR code technology. So any police, any DSS can walk to any POS agent location today, mm. uh, identify yourself, 
and we'll be able to scan it to confirm okay. if uh, they are, they are real. Okay, uh, okay so, so let's uh, run off. Let's talk about um, customer data privacy checks. Yeah. And, um, for, and uh, as you do that, just mm. also talk about the future of um, the agency banking in Nigeria. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, you know, we are dealing with uh, sensitive information, uh, card details of customers. We are dealing with a record of customers. So it is important that agents that will be handling such should be properly trained mm -hmm. on customer privacy you know uh, laws and i think um, it is continuous training and uh, we are also encouraging the service providers uh, to ensure that this is infused into their training uh, curriculum mm -hmm. it is very very fundamental uh, we have been alleged today that uh, pos agent now scan atm details oh. of customers um, all those, all those um, allegations, um, they may be true mm. because uh, customers don't even know who are the real agent or mm. who are not the real agent. For now, we are now encouraging customers look out for Amber logo so that you ca before you can present your card to be sure mm. that your details are secured. We will be able to defend, okay. you know, yes, anything yes. that happened when you i mean up, i mean present your card at amban location across okay. the country mm. that is very fundamental uh because part of the policy of the cbn is that uh, every agent should display the logo of their financial institution okay. you can't find it there today mm. you can only see who has a epos mm. it's only has a financial institution <laughs> well, you, you are meant to present uh, you mm. know to display uh, first bank or money point or hope you know yeah. if you are an agent to do service provider but what? we are walking around i can't find it anywhere mm -hmm. and that is why this joint task force is coming into mm -hmm. to to call in the attention of the security agents to check all this and this will also sanitize our space all right must yeah. a very big thank you yeah. to you mr atonda for sharing all of this useful insight and there's some recent development so nigerians uh, can be protected the agent themselves yeah. can also be protected and of course we now enjoy the inclusion that we've been talking about for the, for about 10 years or so very now. well we do appreciate your time thank you so much for having me thank yeah. you right. thank you and that's the size of the show for today. My guest has been Sharafuddin Fasasi Atonda. He is the national president of um, AMBAN, that's the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria. And we have been looking at financial inclusion in the country. We'll see you again next time. I am Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being there.